All right, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how to create this puzzle cube with five different components, green, blue, yellow, orange, and red. And we're going to kind of have them together as well. And so this is our end goal to try to do that. So here, what we're going to do, I'm going to have my sketch out or my puzzle cube in front of me that looks something like this in front of me so I can start creating the components. And so I know how many individual cubes they are. And we're going to make them as their own component uh, with inside there. So we see this green one here. We notice that the green one is its own component, but might have a few different bodies within that component. Okay, here we go. This is what we're going to do. Let's open up a new design. And the first thing we're going to do is save it. And we want to save it in exactly where we want our puzzle cube to be. Now yours is going to be a little different in your personal folder. But this one I'm just going to have here in my teacher folder. And I'm just going to call it Puzzle Cube. Or maybe Puzzle Cube Design. All right, now the first rule is create new component. And now that new component is going to be called green. And then I will hit enter and I'm ready to go. And using our primitive commands, I'm going to create the entire green piece. So. Let's look at what that looks like. The green piece, it goes up three blocks, individual ones that I glued together. And then on the top, it goes over two blocks and then over another one here. So I actually think I could create this entire thing in two. I'm going to plan it out and I'm going to create these first three tall and then I'm going to create the next two on the top. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Two boxes. I'm going to click box. Green is active, by the way. And I'm going to create this box. I'm going to select this face, the XY plane. And I'm going to click the front view. You know what? I'm going to leave, you know, I'm going to leave it on the home view so just so we can see it as it goes. And I'm going to click the corner here. And it's going to go over here because I'm going to try to mimic exactly what I have there. So I'm going to click it up and over here. And then there is my start for that box. I need to get the, the sizes changed, of course. And so this size that comes out this way, I'm going to make 0.75. But I'm going to go the other direction because that's kind of how it was on here. It goes backwards there. Okay, this from side to side, I'm going to make it 1 point, I'm sorry, 0.75 as well. Okay, and then this one going up and down, all right, I'm going to go up. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller here at 2.25 because it is... 3.75 cubes tall. And now I'm going to click OK. Now this is going to create a new body as you see here. So I'm going to click OK. And I have part of it created. Next, I'm not going to create another new component. Instead, I'm going to leave the, we're still working on the green part. So since we're still working on the green part, I'm going to create another box. And this time, instead of cl clicking one of these planes, I'm going to click the top here. And I'm going to look directly at the top. And maybe I'll move it over so we can see we're looking directly at the top. If it helps, you can hit the home view again. And we can go from here too. What we'll notice is I can actually select the corners or edges from the existing spot over here. So I'm going to click here and make another one. And this time, the box is going to go in the other direction. And it's going to be then negative 0.75 in that direction. In this direction, it's going to be 1.5 because it's 2. And then in this direction going outward, it's going to be 0.75. And instead of a new body here, I'm just going to select join. I want to join it to that existing body. So now I have this joint. So there's other things we're going to do here. So we're going to join that to the existing body and click OK. And I have my green piece. So with the green piece already active, I can right click and go to appearance. Because I want to change this to green. And inside the appearance, let's, see, let's take a look at our library here. I'm going to go down and let's see here. There is something called paint. And inside paint, we're going to select, in my case, I'm going to select glossy. I'm going to find green. And I'm just going to drag green. I might have to download it first. 
and then I'm just going to drag green and let it go on top of the component. And now it's green. Perfect. There's my first one. I'm done with the green component. I'm done with the green component, so back to the top here, I'm going to activate the top level and create another new component. And this time I'm just going to right click and create new component. And this component is going to be called, let's see, we're going to call this one blue. And click OK. Now I'm ready to create my blue component. So my blue component, I'm going to be able to create, it's going to take a little bit of time, but I'm going to create this box right up here and then another box going down and then another box from the other side. So let's let's see here how this is going to work. It's going to take I think three steps is what I'm going to try to do it in this time. So when I create a box, notice something here. I can actually use this component to create my next one. So I'm going to select this top face and then I'm going to click this corner and I'm going to come out this way to create this box going down. Now I just gotta put the sizes in. So it goes down, negative 0.75. It goes over 0.75. And then this spot right here, I'm gonna click this blue arrow behind there. Let's see, I'm gonna move this. And that spot is going to be only 1.5. There we go. So what did I do? I just created those two together and they came down. So I'm going to click OK. And now I'm ready for the next spot of the blue one. So I'm not going to create a new component. What I'm going to do is just create another box within the blue one. A new box. I can use this top of the blue shape that was already there. So we see that. And I noticed I already made a mistake. I made a mistake. This is supposed to be back over here. So I didn't actually create it the right way. So how do I go back and fix it? Because now this one is supposed to go down to, not over to. And we noticed that. And that's OK. What I wanted to do by making that mistake is show you how to not get frustrated. And you don't have to click undo. In fact, you can go down here to your timeline. And notice that that's where I made that primitive box. And I can double click that box and now I can remake the shape. Because really what I wanted to do was go down 1.5 and only over 0.75. Because that's the shape I wanted to start with. So instead of deleting it and redoing it, I can go back and edit it like I did before. So we want this to be a new body because it's the first shape on this component. And now I'm going to go back to create another box. And sometimes that will happen that we notice that. So let's select the top plane of this face now again. And this time I'm going to use some of that geometry here. I'm going to click this corner and I'm going to be able to create a, a box this way. So it's going to go down. And here's what cool thing. We can actually probably select it. Instead of dragging it, we can drag it here like this. And as I use my view cube, I can actually click this face here. It automatically makes it to that face. That's pretty nice. Maybe I can do it on this side too. I can click this one and click this face. Boom, it automatically made it there too. And it was on the corner. So there you go. So now I just need to do the width here at 0.75. And I have that one. And we're going to join it. So I'm really close here. I got to do one more. And this time, instead of adding to it, I'm going to take it away. So if I look at my blue piece, i got to take away this underside right here in the corner there. Right? That spot right there. So create box again. And I'm going to select the bottom of that box. And if it, again, if you can't get to it, all you got to do is click and hold and drag your view cube around. Click the bottom of this box. I'm going to click the corner here and the corner there. It automatically put, creates it the right, two of the right, two of the three, the length and the width here. And let's take a look here. Let's watch what happens. I go back home. And I'm going to go upward with it to start cutting it away. You see that? 
and now negative 0.75 and the operation is cut and there is my finished blue piece so let's make that appearance different again right click appearance and we'll go down and we'll find blue I might have to download it and then drag it and drop it on the blue piece so that was my green piece and my blue piece go back to the top level and select them both and there I have my puzzle cube design and I have the green one and the blue one now you can continue creating on your own by additive or subtraction or co combination of either all of your pieces uh, together until you end up with them as a puzzle cube now I'm finished with my puzzle cube design and I'm ready to join the pieces together so if you created it like mine what we can do is we can go up here to assemble and select as built joint and join whatever one we have there we can select two of them and now they're joined together in fact if I hit this little play button here you'll see that they're joined together it'll like it'll like rumble right there to show you that they're together all right so they're joined together and then click OK but I can still move these and move these apart so what if they're not joined together and I created them separately which is totally fine so there's another type of joint which is pretty simple we're just gonna click joint or J for short here and we're gonna select the corner that we want to join so I want this corner I'll zoom in sometimes it's easier to select the face first and then the corner and I want that corner to touch this green corner over here so the face and then the corner and there we go pretty easy whatever corners you want to have touch I'll sit, click OK and we'll move to another piece so let's move this one out of the way and we know it goes right up in there somewhere so maybe I'll have joint again select this face that corner right there so if I can zoom in make sure you're selecting the right one sometimes I zoom in with our scroll bar click the face pan over click the corner I want I gotta select the underside here so let's turn it around and we'll click zoom in click the face click the corner all right that one's in there too now and click OK all right last thing we have is our red piece so I'll move it to the side here I know it goes in right there so I think I can kind of do this similar to where I did the other one here let's click this corner and have it on the other side underside of that one so last time joint zoom in select the face don't don't try to select to one of those because it'll automatically click them select it in an open area then select to one of them turn it over to the back side pan to where you need to the pan really helps out Let's see sometimes it I'll make sure I'm doing the right thing here all right and we'll go select this face and select this corner sure enough put it right inside there and now I have my entire cube and if I were to grab any part of it it all moves together now it's all joined together.